Okay, guys, so we are going to soap less well today. And I hope that this angle is good for you guys. Um, just putting my gloves on. I hope you guys can see everything. Well, these are the colors I'm using today. Um, I'm using the Vibrance, pink Vibrance from Nurture Soaps and two of the, uh, what are they, pastel or something. Um, colors, the Amaranth and the Iris Purple. I've never used the pink one, so we're going to do that. And then the Matte Orchid Ultramarine from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, so let's get started. to burn this too much because I am working with a floral fragrance and I do not want it to come to trace on me. So we will see what happens. Let's burn this up. too much. Maybe not. Okay. I'm going to go with a little more. This is my base. colors in these so never quite looks how you expect it to but that'll work okay here is my purple marker I probably end up using most of the color and that I mixed up for these even though I made it for double the amount. I think I'm going to add a little bit at a time. per pound because I really like my fragrance to be nice and saturated. But I went a little over for this one. Let's see, I don't think I want to stick blend this at all because I do not want it to accelerate. I need time to mix all of this together. This is what see if I have a good one. This is what my last bar looked like. Um, I used ultramarine lavender and orchid and I don't have any of this lavender and then I used the fluorescent pink which um, I'm not using today so I'm going to kind of redesign it a little bit. I prepared everything yesterday. I 
probably wouldn't be soaping today because it's just not my day. I like wearing gloves because if I make a mess, I can easily pick it up with my fingers. Alright, let's get this poured. Hope you guys can see without too much interference with my arms. what I did last time, so that's what I'm doing again. I really need to get some squeeze bottles so we can try some techniques that way. I actually might just run the chopstick through this right now, just to see how it comes out. I just did the drops from the last time I did this soap, so I assumed that I should do it again, but I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? This seems to be a favorite for everybody so I'm almost sold out of it so I figured that it would be a good idea to make some more before I actually sold out you guys can just skip all this if you want pretty boring tomorrow and I still forgot the cream that's one thing that sucks about soaping in your basement is when something's upstairs you forget it so I just have a little bit left for my top which I might have to wait to plop on here because I've got Stick through this just to kind of give it a different swirl. See how that comes out. Alright, this out. This a few minutes to set because I don't think. Instead of really fluid, I have no idea what it's going to look like on the inside, so because I poured a very light tray, so I tried to speed it up with the stick blender. So we'll see how it turns out. I try not to save too much for the top, and I always end up overdoing it and having like a lot of soap left over. I haven't been wanting to 
do too many crazy designs on the top, like a lot of peaks and stuff, because I still don't have like my packaging design 100%, and I find that it's easier just to work with a flat soap top. So I think I only have one soap that's got pretty high peaks on it, which is my um, warm vanilla sugar. So, yeah, making a huge mess while I'm at it, but that's part of soap making, I guess. I've got a lot of this color left. It's okay, I might need to just get some more white on here. A little bit more color. soaps it just does not turn out right at all. So I don't know if I'm just going to stop using glitter or what I'm going to do. swirls up here with all this soap we got on top. I hope I went down deep enough. Don't want to overdo it. I think we're good. Alright. Let's give it a plop. There's my love spell. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's still really loose. So, we'll see how it works out. And thank you guys for watching.